All right, so look, this video was not one I was planning on making, but I've been getting a ton of comments recently after my Yeti review asking for a video on how I edit my audio, specifically audio recorded on the Yeti. So yeah, I'm giving in. For a while, I just referred people to older videos like my editing snowball audio video, but in all honesty, I do edit my audio a bit differently with this mic. Plus, I've also kind of changed my general sound to a more natural yet still crisp sound signature. Uh, that's all the intro this video needs, I think. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is record some audio, which you can see I've already done. Just for the video, pretend this is audio you've recorded and that you want to edit. Always remember to speak about 6 inches from the mic to get the fullest audio possible, while avoiding overpronounced syllables, and let's go ahead and play my example audio. Here's some sample audio for demonstrating my updated audio settings, and if you enjoy my videos, then definitely consider subscribing down below. Something quick and simple, and starting the edit off, we're going to use UWA Shock. And look, I know it does seem a bit, I don't know, off, but it does what it says. It really does make your audio sound better. So here we're just using preset A at about 20%, I'd say. And just listen to the difference that, that makes. Here's some sample audio for demonstrating my updated audio settings. And if you enjoy my videos, then definitely consider subscribing down below. Next is Bass and Treble, which is a pre-installed plugin, and I've actually changed my settings here since the last video. I found that plus 6.3 and plus 4.7 decibels respectively gives a smoother, less processed sound. So let's hear that after it's applied. Here's some sample audio for demonstrating my updated audio settings, and if you enjoy my videos, then definitely consider subscribing down below. Alternatively, if you want a bit more control over the sound signature, you could use an equalizer like TDR Nova. The settings you see here are actually what I use for music vocals. Here's some sample audio for demonstrating my updated audio settings. And if you enjoy my videos, then definitely consider subscribing down below. But just keep in mind, I use the simpler bass and treble for all my voiceover stuff, just because it's simpler and easier. Next, Spitfish, because when we bring up that treble, it tends to emphasize those s and sh sounds, which we don't want sticking around in our audio. Take a look at my settings here for a subtle yet workable effect. Here's some sample audio for demonstrating my updated audio settings, and if you enjoy my videos, then definitely consider subscribing down below. And lastly, but not leastly, we're going to use Amplify with its default setting to make our audio as loud as possible, then use the good old compressor to level everything out. Here's some sample audio for demonstrating my updated audio settings, and if you enjoy my videos, then definitely consider subscribing down below. So that's my finished edit, quick and simple, and really clean and crisp to listen to. Make sure to look at the settings I showed on screen as a starting point, and you know, just work from there. If you have a little bit less natural bass in your voice, maybe you want to add a little bit more in post. You know, just tweak to what you want, and you should be well on your way to editing your own audio. So this was definitely a different style video for my channel. I promise I usually put way more effort into making a polished, honestly over the top video most of the time. But today I just wanted to respond to your requests and drop that much awaited updated audio settings video. So here y'all go. Before I hop off though, if you want to see the behind the scenes of my videos, how I set up the frame, lighting and everything, click the card on screen right now. And if you want to check out some dope off-brand Philips Hue lights for literally less than a fifth of the price, check out that video also on screen now. I will see you in the next video.